Hi all, welcome back to C++ tutorial on Tooth Fulcrum. This session is on arithmetic operators and assignment operator in C++. Operators are the foundation of any programming language. We can say that an operator operates the operands. Arithmetic operators are used to perform arithmetic or mathematical operations on operands. Let's see the arithmetic operators available in C++. The addition operator adds the two operands. For example, x plus y computes the sum of x and y. The subtraction operator subtracts two operands, that is, x minus y computes the difference between x and y. The multiplication operator multiplies two operands. For example, x into y evaluates the product of x and y. The division operator divides the first operand by the second. For example, x divided by y divides x by y. Let's understand the working of these operators with a program. So we need two operands to work on these operators. So let's take two variables for the same and let them be integers. So let me take two variables x and y of type int. So let's initialize their values. Say x is equal to 4 and uh, y is equal to 2. And let's use another variable to store the result of these operations. So let it be result. So let's see the working of the addition operator first. So result equal to if I say x plus y. It computes the sum of x and y and is stored into the result. Let's use a cout statement, print and verify our output. So let me write sum equal to. So what is the expected output here? The sum of x and y that is 4 plus 2, 6. Let's verify our output. Let's build and run our program. Yes, we are getting the expected output. You can see sum is equal to 6. Now let's check the working of the subtraction operator. So same program I'm using. I'm just changing the operator here. So now result is equal to x minus y. So x minus y computes the difference between x and y. So this will compute or evaluate like 4 minus 2. Let's use a cout statement and verify this. So I'll modify this as difference equal to. So what is the expected output here? X minus y. That is x is holding a value of 4. Y is holding 2. So 4 minus 2 is 2. We are expected to get the output as 2. Let's build and run our program and verify this. Yes, you can see difference equal to now let's check the product of x and y. So I will remove this operator here and I'll use the product operator. So result is equal to x into y evaluates the product of x and y that is 4 into 2. So let's print and verify that. So I'll write product equal to. Okay, so what is the expected output here? 4 into 2, that is 8. Let's verify. Yes, product equal to 8. Now let's see the division operator. So I'll modify this as x divided by y. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. Let's verify it. So division. 
so what is the expected output x by y or x divided by y 4 divided by 2 is 2 let's check yes you can see here division is equal to 2 so this is how you perform addition subtraction multiplication and division in c++ there are a few more arithmetic operators available in c++ let's see what are they we have increment operator which adds one to the operand and you could use them as either pre-increment or post-increment we have already discussed this operator in our previous sessions i'm providing the link for the same in the description box those who have not watched please do refer this is the decrement operator which subtracts one from the operand even we have done this in the previous session so the link is provided in the description box please do refer the modulo operator which gives the reminder when you divide x by y so even this we have covered in our previous sessions you can refer assignment operators are used to assign value to a variable for example x is equal to 10 the left side operand of the assignment operator which in our case x is a variable and the right side operand of the assignment operator is a value the value on the right side must be of the same data type of the variable on the left side otherwise the compiler will raise an error that is if you have declared x as integer you can assign only integer values to this x for example if i say x equal to 12 let's just print the value of x if we run this program you can see the output x is equal to 12 that is using the assignment operator i have assigned the value 12 to the variable x now suppose if i try to assign a float value to this variable x say 12.5 so now x is holding a floating value so 12.5 f indicates it's a floating constant but i have declared x as an integer so let's build and run and see what is going to happen my compiler doesn't throw any errors but you can see your output here is 12 that is it is avoiding the decimal part so this is not a good practice some compilers throws error but some as seen here process fine but you will not get the expected value so when you have declared a variable as integer it is always recommended to initialize that variable or assign that variable with the integer values this operator is a combination of addition and assignment operators this operator first adds the current value of the variable on left to the value on the right and then assigns the result to the value on the left for example if i say x plus equal to 10 this is equivalent to saying x is equal to x plus 10 let's take a program so if you have say x equal to 10 if i write an expression x plus equal to 10 so this is equivalent to what x equal to x plus 10 that is you are adding 10 to the variable x let's print and verify yes you can see your output here x is equal to 20 that is you have added a 10 to the variable x which was initially holding 10 so 10 plus 10 20 
These operators are also called as shorthand assignment operators. So instead of using this minus operator, you can use other operators as well. So if I say minus, this is equivalent to x is equal to x minus 10. So 10 minus 10, it is 0. Let's check. Yes, you can see here x is equal to 0. So we will use one more operator. Let's say product x into equal to 10. So this is equivalent to writing x is equal to x into 10. So 10 into 10, we are expected to get an output 100. Let's check. Yes, you can see your output here. X is equal to 100. So these operators are used just to simplify the task of writing a long expression like this. Instead of writing x is equal to x into 10, you can just write a simplified expression x into equal to 10. So this is about the assignment operator and shorthand assignment operator in C++. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. And please don't forget to tap the bell icon. You'll get notified whenever we upload our new videos. Thank you.